Hi everybody, this is Philip Carey, your friendly neighborhood EL teacher for middle school. And I'm here to tell you a little bit about the Elevation platform. So you'll find it in Clever, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. Now I'm just going to be covering the tip of the iceberg here, like the basics um, to get you started. When you first come in, you're gonna be at the dashboard. I'm not going to focus on this, but feel free to scroll around. There are some cool things you can do here. Um, but what I'm going to focus on is in the Students tab. So if you click Students at the top and go to Student List, then you're going to find this big directory of students. I'm pretty sure it will show up with more, uh, I'm sorry, not more, but a lot less students on your tab because this is all of, all of the students in the school. You should probably only see the students who are in your grade or, or maybe just the students who you actually teach. So you can use the filters to narrow it down. So if I just want to look at sixth grade students, then I'll do that. And then I'm going to click and, and I'm going to narrow it down by L status. So like I said before, this is a lot more students than just the L students who are classified as such. So I want just the students who are classified as English learners right now. So I'm going to click that, and that narrows it down greatly to just the sixth grade students who are classified as English learners. So that's one way for you to just get a list of who your English learner students are. Now let's focus in further on a single student. When you hover your mouse over a student's name, it comes up with a little pop-out window. So I'm going to click that, and let's focus on this one student. There is a, There are uh, many, many things that you can use on this platform to find out about a student. I'm going to focus on a couple of them right now. Over here to the right, you have their access tests, from the last time they took the test. Now we were able to take the standardized test before we all went home uh, due to COVID restrictions last year. So these are good data points. These numbers might not mean a lot to you. A 1.8 in reading, what does that really mean for me in, in my classroom? Well, go to this can do's tab down here, right here. And this will show you what you can expect this student to do. So if this student has a one in speaking, you can expect them to be able to do these things in your class. And that applies for all of these different domains. Now also, I want to direct your attention to accommodations and classroom amplifications. These are things that you are required to give this student. Um, accommodations are for tests. So this is for the standardized EOG test, but also you should be providing these for the students whenever they take a formal test in your class. Um, if you're in this kind of content area, they will need read aloud to access the test. A bilingual dictionary is helpful and some extended time wouldn't be a bad thing. These students really need some, some things to change for them to be able to access the tests and the, and the instruction in your class. Speaking of the instruction, you'll find those modifications under classroom and amplifications. If you click that, you're going to see a list of things that you should be providing for that student in your classroom. Now, I just want to mention at this time that if you feel that some of these are, are working or are not working and you want to change some of these up, please let me know. Uh, you can always shoot me an email and I'm really happy to hear from you all when I do. Uh, and I'd love to work with you more to really customize these things for your students. So let's, uh, so take a look at the accommodations and the classroom amplifications for your students. And if you have any adjustments that you think should be made, we can totally do that. So that's all that I wanted to focus on in this video. You have the test results, you have the accommodations, and you have classroom amplifications. Um, don't forget about the can do's tab to see what you can expect of that student in your classroom. And I guess that's all for today. Like I said before, let me know if I can help you further. Thanks. Bye.